Proto-Indo-European pronouns have been reconstructed by modern linguists, based on similarities found across all Indo-European languages. This article lists and discusses the hypothesized forms. Pi pronouns, especially demonstrative pronouns, are difficult to reconstruct because of their variety in later languages. Grammatical categories Pi pronouns inflected for case and number, and partly for gender. For more information on these categories, see the article on Proto-Indo-European nominals. Personal pronouns Pi had personal pronouns in the first and second person, but not the third person, where demonstratives were used instead. They were inflected for case and number singular, dual, and plural, but not for gender. The personal pronouns had their own unique forms and endings, and some had two distinct stems. This is most obvious in the first person singular, where the two stems are still preserved, as for instance in English I and me. There were also two varieties for the accusative, genitive and dative cases, a stressed and an enclitic form. Many of the special pronominal endings were later borrowed as nominal endings. The following tables give the paradigms as reconstructed by Beeks and by Zeeler. Other reconstructions typically differ only slightly from Beeks and Zeeler see for example Fortson 2004. Topic. Demonstrative pronouns. As for demonstratives, Beeks tentatively reconstructs a system with only two pronouns, asterisk so, this, that, and asterisk he, the just named, anaphoric, reconstructed as asterisk a by Fortson. He gives the following paradigms. Beeks also postulates three adverbial particles, from which demonstratives were constructed in various later languages. Asterisk key, here, reconstructed as a demonstrative asterisk key, this, by Fortson. Asterisk hn, there, and asterisk heu, away, again. Topic. Reflexive pronoun A third person reflexive pronoun asterisk s w e, parallel to the first and second person singular personal pronouns, also existed, though it lacked a nominative form. Topic. Relative pronoun Pi had a relative pronoun with the stem asterisk H -yo. Topic. Interrogative, indefinite pronoun There was also a pronoun with the stem asterisk ke, asterisk ki adjectival asterisk ko used both as an interrogative and an indefinite pronoun. Topic. Pronominal adjectives Proto-Indo-European possessed few adjectives that had a distinct set of endings, identical to those of the demonstrative pronoun above but differing from those of regular adjectives. They included at least asterisk alios, other, another, or asterisk h alios. Topic. Reflexes Reflexes, or descendants of the Pi reconstructed forms in its daughter languages, include the following. In the following languages, two reflexes separated by a slash mean English, Old English, Modern English German, Old High German, New High German Irish, Old Irish, Modern Irish Persian, Old Persian, Modern Persian Tocharian, Tocharian A, Tocharian B Topic. Notes Topic. References Beeks, Robert S. P. 2011, Comparative Indo-European Linguistics, An Introduction, ISBN 90-272-1185-X Fortson, Benjamin W. I. V. 2004, Indo-European Language and Culture, Blackwell Publishing, ISBN 1-4051-0316-7 Grieb, Paul Duden Etymology in German, Mannheim, Bibliographisches Institut, ISBN 3-411-00907-1 Zeeler, Andrew L. 
1995, New Comparative Grammar of Greek and Latin, Oxford University Press, ISBN 0-19-508345-8 External links The Dictionary Definition of Category, Proto-Indo-European Pronouns at Wiktionary